going to be my simple version of my last video. If you haven't seen my drawn out, more detailed version of the clutch and torque converter, um, de more detailed on the verses, this is going to be simple. I'm going to say right now, um, you might not know some of these term like gear ratios. This is mostly the term I'm going to be saying. If you don't know what gear ratio is, a low gear ratio, make this simple, like I said, low gear ratio means more power, less speed. High gear ratio means more speed, less power. Okay, so with the clutch, we're going to start out with it. Now, the clutch is pretty simple. This is my, this is a wear, worn out one. You can see here, it's, it's, uh, comes apart. So, um, I, I'm just going to, you know, show you the clutch with this. It's just one that's sitting around. So this clutch it's simple. There's no built-in gear ratios, okay? It, it it doesn't adjust your speed or or, or adjust your power. It, it just w w once your engine revs up, gets up to speed or gets up to higher RPM, um, there, there's weights inside. I, I'll just show you right now. See, see those weights? It, they widen apart and um, squeeze onto this rim. You can see inside of there. Go on the edges, squeeze apart, make, makes it one whole piece. Then once that happens, you're you're driving your machine. <laughs> Pretty simple. So with your torque converter, it's way more moving parts way less moving parts on clutches. So, torque converter, okay, it's pretty much a built-in gear ratio, okay? And, um, so there's move, more moving parts in it, okay? So there's more parts to wear out. That's one negative on a torque converter than a clutch. Clutches last a lot more longer. Torque converters last you about three years. Then you have to replace the belts and rebuild them and stuff like that, so. I would recommend now people go on and you know for 10 years and you know tear up your torque converters like they're not supposed to be doing you you should really pro properly um, replace the belt it's just like doing an oil change on your engine you, you have to do the maintenance you know that's why the clutches are good for some people because they don't have to do any maintenance on it you know with torque converters you have to do maintenance like cause it it's a belt it's rubber so it dry rots and stuff like that. So I uh, try to go on any more of a rant. Try to make it as simple as possible. I'm just gonna put that out there. There is that is one negative on the torque converter. Now on the plus. Now there's built-in gear ratio. So the way it is, uh, when it's not moving, when it's in idle, um, when it's still right now, it, it's in a low gear ratio. It's gonna get. It's gonna have more power when you start off. Now, once your engine gets up to gets up moving, gets up to, you know, up to speed, okay, you you're going to notice if you don't have the cover off, you're going to notice this belt's going to widen out to the edge there, okay? See this edge well, that well, that belt will go all the way out. You know, it'll, it'll be real wide then, you know, and it does the opposite for the rear pulley, okay? Rear pulley that belt will go inwards and cause it to a higher gear ratio okay now this will adjust uh, on your speed it will adjust your speed okay and your power so when you go up hills you, you it'll automatically put it in, into a lower gear ratio the way it is right now to have enough power to go up that hill now when you're flat you'll need a lot of power so it'll give it a lot of speed and a lot of um, good takeoff you know or well, it has good takeoff from low gear ratio. And it, once it gets going, it, it, it goes into a high gear ratio, and then then um, it hits the top speed of the torque convert, what it can handle or whatever. Okay, so got that all over with. Now on gear ratios on your machine. Okay, you got your sprocket back there. You see that sprocket? That's a sprocket on the torque converter. Um, okay, that's nine tooth. Okay, not gonna go into teeth. Um, 
you can look that up in one of my other videos or a different video. Okay, he uh, he got the other side. See, the sprocket's up there. Okay, the one I just showed you before, and it comes down to this one. Now this is a bigger one. Okay, now now this setup I got going on is meant for more power. Okay, so I got a low gear ratio. Okay, on this. Now for a high gear ratio, it would pretty much just be the opposite setup. Now, on the other side, let me adjust my camera a little bit here. On the other side, there would be a sprocket right there. But I have it off because I'm adjusting the chains right now. And um, you, you got this big sprocket, and then going into your wheels. Now, your wheels is a gear ratio, too. Bigger wheels, you're going to have a higher gear ratio. That's going to be more speed for bigger wheels. Um, so, yeah. So, this... It's usually the biggest gear ratio. You're not going to be changing that any. You know, probably leave this sprocket alone. Now the one in the back, you might um, might change that. There would be a sprocket right there, like I said earlier. You might change that to a um, bigger sprocket. That would give you more speed and less power. Okay, that's the same thing. You would want to upgrade to this one. To a bigger sprocket okay bigger and go down it would be smaller upgrade to a smaller would give you more speed it's the same thing over there bigger would give you more speed on on, on the other side of the shaft and then and the one on the axle smaller would give you more speed then bigger tires will give you more speed pretty simple it, pre, it pretty much just goes to the opposite it'll go to small and it'll go to big go to small and then go to big okay that's where gear ratios go go by. Okay, like I said, I'm gonna make this all quick. I, I subscribed that quick as I could. I might not be understand understand way I said it. If you don't know gear ratios, but if you know gear ratios, you probably know what I'm talking about. Okay, so with these torque converters, okay, it starts out in a low gear ratio. Now your low gear ratio is going to give you power. So when you start off, you got a lot of power, okay? Now, when you start off with this clutch, you're not starting out, you're starting out, like I said in the beginning of the video, it doesn't adjust the speed. The speed has nothing to do with the torque, or, or, do with the clutch. Getting my words mixed up, do with the clutch. It doesn't do, do with the engine. The engine do, does the speed. Now, a torque converter, it just is the speed, okay? It's different than the clutch. Okay, you got the torque converter and your engine adjusting your speed and your power. Okay, so when you start out, you got a lot more power than your clutch. Okay, so when you have a high gear ratio on a, on a torque converter, it'll work better, okay? You, you'll have a better takeoff than with a clutch. Okay, with your clutch, it's going to start slipping and then the, then then you you're, you're going to have a lag in in your takeoff, okay? And then if you have a too high of a gear ratio, you probably won't even move. It'll just keep slipping till it probably catches on fire because it'll be, you know, so much friction on it because it's slipping, okay? And it'll, it'll wear out your clutch, too. Um, so, yeah. So, um, so much more you can do with these torque converters than with clutches. <laughs> you pretty much, you want to get more speed out of your machine. You really want to look at your engine and getting a torque converter. Then you just, once you get a torque converter, if you have a torque converter, you just the gear ratio to a right um, speed okay and right enough power now you don't want to jack the, the um, you know your gear ratio way up okay because if you jack it way up your machine has to have somewhat of power so it can move um, okay and, and it matters on your weight okay it matters on your gear ratio and it matters on your engine, okay? And it could even matter on your torque converter, okay, too? There's different types of torque converters. Now, now this is your most basic one for your average go-kart, average mini-bike. Or average other items, too, like three-wheelers and other stuff. 
your average one. Now, if you have a bigger go kart, you go up to a bigger tour converter. It's that simple. Like a big go kart, like a four seater or something. You know, I'm talking about. Now, two seaters. This is your your basic two your basic two seater go kart tour converter. Okay. So tour converter is definitely better than with speed. Okay, with speed. Now mains, like I said. That's the one thing you have to do more maintenance on it. Now, it matters how much you use it. You might you might get ten years out of it. I wouldn't recommend doing ten years because of dry rot. Your belt will dry rot if if you don't even use it. It can still you still might have to replace the belt because it'll get dry rotted. So I would really recommend just replacing every couple years, at least three years, you know, because of dry rot. Even if you don't even use it. Um, you should still replace the belt because of dry rot. So, I hope I um, subscribe or set all that you know clearly enough for you guys. I try to make it this one the most fastest I could without you know without not making sense. I wouldn't make sense for you guys. So, you know, if you have any questions, put that down in the comments. And I, I will try and try to answer it in a couple days or so, or right away. Sometimes, you know, I'll do it right away. So I will try to answer your questions. I should be able to answer all of your questions on the torque converter. I know a lot about them. <laughs> if I don't know um, something about it, there's other videos out there or other websites where you can you know get the knowledge on too but I should know um, all, all the all the stuff about Torquemore so shouldn't be anything worry there any worries there so I should be able to answer your questions if you have any so I'm trying to say so there you have it so a perfect setup to get for some of those people doing you know go-kart mini bike builds you know, buy a brand new Harbor Freight engine. This isn't a Harbor Freight. I'm just showing you. A brand new Harbor Freight engine and buy a brand new Harbor Freight um, Honda clone six and a half horsepower engine at Harbor Freight for about 100, 130 bucks. Or might be able to get on sale for like 100. And uh, pick up one of these um, Comet clone torque converters on eBay for about 70 bucks. And you got one, and then, well, I should say, then go on eBay, okay, there's, um, t type in the right size sprocket for your gear ratios to get up to speed like you want it, or, or power, if you want more power, then get the gear, the, the lower gear ratio and get the right size sprocket for that. And then there you go, you, you got real good setup. Now, it does matter on your weight. Your weight will make a difference on your speed, okay? So you, you want to keep that in mind, how, how much your item weighs. And then, yeah. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you didn't already, and thumbs up. And we'll see you in the next. Thanks for watching.